Welcome to this episode of Rock Talk with Jackie Neal. I had the opportunity to speak with Miss Nita Strauss. Now, she is a guitar virtuoso who has been with Alice Cooper's band for a long time. She left last year to tour with Demi Lovato, a lot of drama around it, but deep down, the truth of it, there really wasn't. She also has a new album coming out this summer featuring a single with Alice Cooper's trademark vocals, also David Draymond from Disturbed. She is the first female solo artist to go number one at U.S. Rock Radio. She grew up in a musical family with classical roots, going back to Johann Strauss. She's had many firsts in her career, and she is a history maker. Here is Miss Nita Strauss. Hey, Jackie, how are you? Hey, good morning, Nita. Thank you for taking the time. I am so excited to talk with you, and I love the new single, Winner Takes All, featuring Alice Cooper's vocals. It's just awesome. <laughs> it, it just, you can tell so you much. wrote it with him in mind. Definitely so. Well, and that's what I love, Dead Inside with David Draymond. You write songs with specific artists in mind to sing, and it shows the pairings are perfect. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's always important to think of your artists, you know, who you're going to be collaborating with, make sure the song is in their, their key, you know, the cadence is something that they can sing and be comfortable with. You know, it's... Uh, it's always apparent when that doesn't happen. So we definitely <laughs> try to keep that in mind, everybody that we worked with. Well, and you hit on it with Cadence. Alice Cooper, his vocals on Winner Takes All and then Dead Inside, David Draymond especially. The Cadence you picked is perfect for them individually. Now, growing up in a musical family related to famous composer Johann Strauss, so you've definitely got the music gene and you grew up listening to classical music, right? Yes, we had nothing but classical music in the house when I was growing up. Awesome. Well, you have done so much to be so young and took time off from Alice Cooper's tour to tour with Demi Lovato and her rock punk all-female band, reaching a whole new audience. Yeah, it was really exciting. I loved touring with Demi. Um, she is such a rocker at heart. You know, she loves metal music and hard rock music and uh I just had the best time working with her. Now, I also read that you were the official guitarist of the L.A. Rams. How does that happen? Yeah, uh, I first performed with the Rams at the Salute Service game in 2018 when the team was still at the Coliseum. Um, after that, moved to, uh, well, yeah, we did one more game at the Coliseum. The following year, we played the Sunday Night Football theme. And then when the team moved to SoFi Stadium in 2020, that's when I became a permanent part of the entertainment there. And you released your debut solo album, Controlled Chaos, in 2018. Now, I read that you have a new album coming out, hopefully in 2023. Will it feature Winner Takes All and Dead Inside? Yes. Uh, the new record is going to come out in the summer. We'll definitely have those two songs on it. We've actually released four singles so far from the upcoming record, just kind of taking our time and letting each one have its own space. So uh, all of these songs and many more will be on the record that's coming out this summer. Now, you were the first female to be signed by Ibanez, along with two guitarists who have influenced you so much, Steve Vai and Joe Satriani. I read almost 220 musicians have signature guitars, but only 12 females, and you're one of them. Can that be true? I didn't know that statistic. That is crazy. It is a ridiculous statistic. <laughs> that is just number um i i hate that a little bit yeah <laughs> but, i do too. Um, I'm, I'm i'm happy that i have mine i'm i'm proud that three of the 12 are arriving as artists uh like myself so uh, let's just hope that, you know, myself and Yvette Young and Laura Basilio, who are the three Ibanez signature ladies, um, hopefully we can affect change for the better and inspire many more. Absolutely. Nothing better said right at the end of Women's History Month. And I just think, you know, people talk about you being one of the best female guitarists of all time. In my opinion, I think you're one of the top guitarists of all time in your prowess and, of course, your speed. And I read that you said when you practiced when you were younger, eight and nine hours a day, you had incorrect form and you didn't take time to stretch and that had an effect on your speed. I cannot imagine you being faster. Oh my gosh, definitely so. Yeah, I didn't, uh, you know, I came from a family that didn't have a lot of resources, so I, I wasn't really ever able to afford guitar lessons or anything until I was much older and definitely gave me some bad habits, you know, just teaching yourself, watching videos, you're never going to get everything right. So uh, I had a lot of holes in my technique that needed to be plugged up later on in life. 
but uh, I think it came out okay in the end. <laughs> yeah, I would say it worked out <laughs> all right. <laughs> and speaking of bad habits, your personal life and career, they've pretty much hit celestial levels, but it's not luck. You committed several years ago to a sober life of fitness and discipline, and that was a catalyst in your career paying off and your hard work tremendously. It absolutely was. Uh, you know, I, I'm i never the type to preach sobriety and say that everybody should get sober, but it was absolutely the right decision for me. Um, my, like you said, my career and life and personal life, everything just improved so dramatically um, after I decided to get sober. And so I'm I'm grateful for that decision and the, the path that it's led me on. Like you said, not preachy at all, but you have encouraged and inspired other people specifically through Body Shred. Yes, Body Shred was the sort of brainchild uh, after the sobriety because I was able to, you know, make a big change. You know, I've, I've struggled with my weight on and off since I was a teenager. And when I got sober, my my body changed more dramatically than, you know, Maybe my mental health changed more dramatically, but the, the change in my physique was something that everybody noticed, and they're like, how did you do it? And I found myself typing out these novels on social media all the time saying, well, I ate this, and I did this, and I worked out like this, and I, you know, woke up early and drank this. And then we thought, you know, my boyfriend also is really into uh, health and physical fitness, and we thought, why don't we, uh, <laughs> he's flexing at me right now, <laughs> and we thought, why don't we... <laughs> Why don't we uh, do something more official and mm -hmm. help people in the way that I've been helped? So that's how Body Shred came to be. Um, we are actually getting ready for the next installment of Body Shred. Um, get get a little bit ready for summer, so keep an eye out for that. Well, and I love that the testimonials and the photos, they're real people like me, and I can totally relate to people that don't have model body types, and um, I have left alcohol and weed in my past, and I can tell a big difference in pursuing sure. fitness. I always have, but you have really inspired me to raise the bar and exceed my age and physical limitations and just see what I can do without injury. Oh, Jackie, I'm so honored you say that. Thank you so much. Um, and I, I want to thank you for acknowledging the people who have made a transformation with this program because it was important to me to create a safe space for our community, you know, the rock community that, you know, when I started getting into fitness after I got sober, I would look at these Instagram pages and these inspo pages and it was, you know, girls with perfect makeup and matching, you know, baby mm -hmm. pink, you know, uh, <laughs> tops and bottoms. And I was like, I don't look that perfect when I work out. You know, right. I said, and I'm in a big Ibanez t-shirt and, you know, like, uh, I wanted people to have a safe space to come and say, this is our community. We're doing this together. We're going to post our favorite rock workout playlists. And, you know, a lot of the prizes are fitness oriented. And a lot of the prizes are uh, uh, music oriented as well. So Ibanez will give one of my signature guitars. Marshall will give a Marshall amp. Uh, so it's all very, uh, very music focused as well. Now, of course, you're back out with Alice Cooper on tour for 2023. I love that he and Cheryl and the members of the band, you've said it's so much a family. And when you left, the media tried to make it like it was a drama, but it wasn't. You had their blessing. You asked them first. And I love the story about the hiatus dinner when he said, you'll be missed. We love you and you're welcome back. Yes. The, the dinner was a teary affair. You know, nobody really knew if it was going to be six months or a year or longer. We just thought, like, hey, you know, if he was so supportive of me going and taking a step away to try something different. And I think that says a lot about Alice, that he's always just encouraging his band members to try different things. And uh, it means a lot to me to get to work with somebody like that. I love it. Hey, Ms. Nita, I could keep talking to you. I know you've got to go. My black cat, Samson, wanted me to say hey to Pantera before we go. Uh -huh. Right now. Hi, Samson. Aw, and thank you so much. And winner takes all. Looking forward to the album this summer. Ms. Nita Strauss, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for tuning in to Rock Talk with Jackie Neal. I'd appreciate so much if you would like, subscribe, leave me a comment, and a review.